what's up what's up it's your girl here Mia Leah welcome to the show now I will say this before I open my mouth because a lot of people get upset when you voice your opinion on certain video games or certain gamers and I have to say this this is social media all we doing is sharing thoughts ideas and opinions don't take it seriously it's just my opinion that's all I'm not trying to bash Naughty Dog or anybody who create the Crash Bandicoot series. I'm not trying to say I don't support them. I actually do want you to support them and, you know, give them some feedback. And that's basically all I'm doing. And, you know, it's just fair use of what I'm doing right now. So let's go ahead and get into the topic. So I've been wanting to talk about this um, for quite some time now. I waited till all the hype, you know, went down or whatever. But I've been talking... Um, mainly about the Crash Bandicoot series on and on with my friend Stormy. And um, what we tend to notice is that I don't think they're doing the franchise very good with the remake. They remake Insane Trio Trilogy. Love it. I'm so glad that they remake that. Um, but I found out, I, which was, I'm, I'm dumb myself. I don't even know how I didn't even see this. But they remake crash um team racing nitro refuel now back in the day i didn't care for that game i had like the first one the first one was you know that was my favorite one out of you know that you know the crash team racing the original one and then the nitro refuel when i was playing this game i kept playing it and i kept saying where are all these characters coming from i don't remember seeing them i don't remember seeing the girls who hold the trophy as a gaming character that you can choose for to race so it was just odd to me that's when i finally figured out that this was not a game this was like something that they just remake and they just add extra things to it and especially about the boots now i kept trying to figure out did I boost a whole lot on the first Crash Team Racing? On the first CTR, I didn't need to boost a whole lot. You know, I was good. I, I didn't really use it a whole lot. But the Nitro Review, the remake, you really had to learn how to do it. So a lot of people, so this was one of the things that hurt CTR and Nitro Review. Because a lot of people didn't know how to master the, um, the boost like I did. Well, like, just like me. I couldn't, yeah, I'm sorry. Just like me. I couldn't um, master the boost, so I pretty much stopped playing the game. Or there was people that I used to play with; they stopped eventually playing the game, and it was just a bunch of kids. Then the next thing you know, um, the online part—it was like where <sighs> I felt like they could have did more with the online. Um, I just thought that I don't know. I felt like it was missing something. But one thing is. There was an area on Crash Team Racing where you're racing in the cars and you're fighting each other. Nobody really played that part of the game. I forgot the name of it, but everybody only raced each other online, but nobody really focused on playing the other part of the game, which I didn't understand why nobody played that online. That was a really fun part that me and my friends back in the day used to play, so I didn't understand why none of the younger people wanted to play like the battle arena area on CTR Nitro Review which was odd to me. Um, yeah, and then they started taking things from the online area and it became, uh, it became blah. Like a lot of people were like, really, you're gonna take this part away? I'll show you the name or something that they took away. And also I thought it was a little odd that they made one of the characters a TNT crate. I was like, okay, this is stupid. Now the online is becoming dumb. You and yeah, seeing a TNT crate, this is dumb. I was laughing when I was streaming because somebody who I was going up against, who I was playing with as an online, my online friend, I think it was Fire of the Dragon, he was the one that would look like a CTR. I'm like, really? A CTR crate? So I was like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. So I'm back. <laughs> family, family always button in my video, my video, on my video. I need a. But, um, yeah, so the first thing that I want to talk about, not the first, just the second thing, what am I talking about? Crash Bash. Bash. We found out that a lot of people have been asking, is there going to be a remake? And I think they're not going to remake it. From what I've been hearing, they're not going to do a remake. They're just going to make new Crash Bandicoot games. So I was like, to me personally, I think that, I'm going to say before I get into talking about Crash Bandicoot, I personally think 
that they're trying to cater to the kids. And I'm gonna tell you why after. Okay, so let's, um, there's an article that I found, cbr.com. So according to them, they talk about the Crash Bash needs to make a comeback. And I'm gonna tell you, and I kinda, I really do agree that this would be a whole lot better if they brought this back and remake it because the online will be phenomenal. Like it would be awesome if they do this, but let's go ahead and see what they say. Following the successful remix of the other PlayStation Crash Bandicoot games, the party game Crash Bass deserves to be next in line. Crash Bandicoot series has experienced a bit of rocky road over its lifetime. The once ionic PlayStation franchise created by a developer Naughty Dog back in the 90s disappeared for a number of years after several attempts to reinvent and, and revitalize the series. Thankfully, Crash recently made a major comeback with two incredibly successful remakes being released. Victorious Vision Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy and Beanox Crash Team Racing Nitro Crew. Both of these remakes were able to bring Crash graphics and gameplay features into the modern day. Without sacrificing the series' art, style, tone, or gameplay, but of the five classic Crash Bandicoot games on the PlayStation, the game has yet to be remastered, Crash Bash. Crash Bash, a party game developed by Eurocom and released in 2000, allows up to four players to battle it out in a number of different minigames. Despite not being developed by Naughty Dog, Crash Bash maintains a series signature style. Cast of characters, difficulty, and quirky sense of humor. Remaking Crash Bash would allow a developer to build upon already fun and addictive foundation. Many of the changes and additions made for Crash Team Racing, Nitro Ruku, Nitro, Nitro, Nitro Fuel, will suit a party game like Crash Bash. An expanded roster of playable characters and a cosmetic cost customization will be excellent addition. The original Crash Bash boards eight player characters, but adding more would give players more options and fit with the idea of party game. The original could support up to four players. If they were lucky enough to own a PlayStation multi tap that is, otherwise you will limit to two players. Maintaining the ability to play with four players on one couch will be essential with the remake of Crash Bash and would provide countless hours of entertainment as friends try to push each other off the edge and pull the push or square right at the last second and pogo pandemonium pogo pandemonium i can't read <laughs> however online multiplayer a staple of modern day multiplayer games would breathe entirely new life into crash bash people from around the world could connect through these fast-paced competitive mini games that are appropriate for all ages Different options could let players stick to one type of mini game or swap through them in a sort of playlist. Points earned could be spent on new characters or customizations that could be shown off online. Online multiplayer could also allow for more than four players per game. With some tweaks and redesigns, any of Crash Bash mini games could support eight players. Transcending the limits of the original PlayStation hardware make the possibilities endless. Just imagine, just imagine, ugh. just imagine the pure chaotic fun of eight people running around throwing bombs at each other in a crate clutch. Crash Bash scratches an itch that no other game has managed to reach. There are certainly other party games out there like Mario Party, but Mario Party board's game setup emphasizes on overall stars is different from different from Crash Bash total focus on mini games. Mario Party's mini games are secondary to what happened on the board. In contrast, Crash Bash feels much faster and more intense, with many games acting as a main event rather than a halftime show. Crash Bash, like other PlayStation games, was limited by technology at its time, but still has a lot going for it. As the original Crash Bandicoot trilogy, Crash Team Racing before it, the high intensity party game will only benefit from modern remake and only need small tweaks and changes to take it from a goal to great. After Insane Trilogy and Nitro Review, it only seems logical for Crash Bash to receive the same tender love and care. Alright, so before I so, wrap up the whole CTR, 
Cash Bash um, audio video. I say audio <laughs> video. I wanted to touch um, bases on the content. Just made. I mean, not content, but actual video games just make just being made just for kids, teenagers, and young adults. I really do think that when I was playing TTR Nitro with you, I don't feel like it was really a game that older people were trying to stay at you know, keep playing it because a lot of older people were not playing this game. They played it for a little bit and then they went back to their Mario Kart. So I'm seeing this I'm seeing like it's a pattern of the Crash Bandicoot series, like people play for a little bit, the older ones, and then it goes back to playing something else. Now I do notice that when I was playing um, Crash Team Racing Nitro Review, I noticed that a lot of kids were coming to my stream and was watching it. It was not too much of older adults who were playing, you know, watching it or, or watching me play it. It was only a couple. So I, I feel like the games are more catered, like the Crash Bandicoot series now are more catered to the kids. And I get it. It looks cute. It's funny. It's going to attract kids. But don't forget about the people. Who like Crash Bash like that's something that you know is my childhood you know memories and I would like to see it be remake again so I feel like they're not really catering to the older ones that like Crash Bandicoot and that's just my opinion like I'm stating I'm just sharing my thoughts I'm not trying to push my ideas on yours I'm just sharing my thoughts that's what we do on social media let me know how you feel about the whole you know ctr nitro review and there's no remake of crash match coming out and are you really going to play the new one that come out um let me know down in the comments below so you see that you know basically i'm i'm not the only one thinking this a lot of people want crash bash to be remade i'm one of them that's my favorite you know crash bandicoot series for them not to remake it is stupid it's dumb you can do so much with that game online. It's crazy. It, it, it clear they clearly let you see what you can do online. For them not to do this, this can go up against, you know, Mario Party. Um, Mario Party is a lot different. A lot. Um, the atmosphere, the gameplay is totally different. Same concept, but it's just Crash Bash is more intense, more fun. Um, I know there might be some people who say Mario is better, um, but that part, I don't think so. To me personally, I think that Mario Kart Racing is better than CTR. I'm just putting it out there. I think they did a lot, I did better, but I prefer the Crash Team Racing, their original. Um, a lot of people really, I, I didn't understand why they brought out CTR Nitro Fuel. A lot of people really stopped playing that game and then it just kids started playing it and then more and then eventually people stopped playing the game all together it became so boring so quick so fast i, I was i was really shocked i didn't i thought it was gonna last at least a year it didn't even last a year that game was already dead um yeah i, I the last time i've been on it it was like nobody was hardly online so i didn't understand to me i feel like crash bash will really keep you know the crash bandicoot series flowing i think that will be I don't think people would get bored quickly. I felt like CTR Natural Review, you got bored too easily, too quickly because it's competitive, you're still racing. A lot of racing games becomes too competitive and then eventually you're like, you're moving on to another game. So I thought that Crash Bash would be a better fit. That's just me, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. You know, ultimately it's what the viewers think. Let me know what your ideals are. Please be nice in the comment area. Don't be a jerk okay you don't want to get deleted possibly get banned nobody wants to be banned okay but um yeah show respect to others down in the comment area. but as for now i'm gonna say peace damn how you gonna keep it up what you gonna do every time i switch it up damn i don't want no problem but you gotta be ready if you gonna start it so. damn how you gonna keep it up Learn your lesson that you ain't gon' never measure up